Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss D and F block elements. We have to discuss D block elements separately and then F block elements. So what do you mean by the D block? Everybody knows in our periodic table these elements are known as D block from group 3rd to group 12. Okay. So, according to the definition, the D block elements are those in which last electron enters the D subshell of penultimate shell. Which means when you write the configuration and your last electron enters in D subshell, then you can say the element belongs from the D block. Okay. Now, the elements of D block of periodic table are known as transition elements. The transition elements may be defined as the elements whose atoms contain partially filled d orbitals. Now what is the meaning of partially filled d orbitals? It means the configuration which is other than d10 means d1, d2, d3. The configuration should not be d10 only. Then you can say the atom contains partially filled d orbitals. Now there are four series of transition elements split between group 3 to 12. 3 to 12 D block elements and these are the four transition series. The general electronic configuration of these elements is N minus 1 D1 to 10 and S1 to 2 means D1 S2. You know? Now what about the D10 configuration? Elements which has completely filled D orbitals are named as pseudo transition elements. Mark it pseudo transition elements. Now come to the electronic configuration. In the transition elements, D blocks of penultimate shell are successively filled. There are three transition series. The first transition series involves the filling of three D orbitals. It starts from Z is equals to 21, scandium, and goes up to zinc, Z is equals to 30. 21 and 30 are the atomic masses of scandium and zinc. The second transition series involves the filling of 4D orbitals and include 10 elements. Each D series contains 10 elements. Okay, from yttrium Z is equals to 39 to cadmium Z is equals to 48. The third transition series involves the filling of 5D orbitals. 5D orbitals may filling hogi. Z. The series are also named as 3D series, 4D series and 5D series. Here given the electronic configuration of third series of D block, third series means 5D series. Electron is going to the 5D orbital, so the series is named as 5D series. The outermost configuration will be 5D1, 6S2, 4HF, 5D2, 6S2, 4TA, 5D3, 6S2. Similarly, you can write for the 3D series and 4D series as well. Now come to the periodic properties of D block. First one is atomic radii and ionic radii. Now what do you mean by the atomic radii? So according to the definition, the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron, outermost electron means valence shell electron is termed as atomic radii. Now atomic radii varies when you talk about van der Waals radii, ionic radii, metallic radii, radii. These all the things we have studied in class 11th. Now we have to understand what is the trend of D block elements. Atomic radii, atomic radii of transition elements in a period smaller than S block elements and larger than P block elements. It is saying the atomic radii of D block elements is smaller than S block elements and larger than P block elements. Everybody knows here we have S block 1st and 2nd, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 we have P block. In between we have D block. 
Now in a series atomic radii decreases initially and varies irregularly showing near consistency till 11th group and then increases in the 12th group. Means first of all your atomic radii decreases then it will become to a constant and then increases. Okay, with increasing atomic number, nuclear charge and shielding effect of d electrons increases and counterbalance the effects resulting small decrease in atomic radii. Now we have the question why the atomic radii first decreases and then increases. So all of these things just due to the shielding effect. Now what do you mean by the shielding effect? Shielding effect. So the electrons which are present in inner shell are behave as a shell for the outermost electron and the effect is known as shielding effect. So that's why atomic radii first decreases then become constant and after some elements it increases. The ionic radii. Ionic radii decreases from left to right. It decreases with increase in oxidation state means as well as oxidation state increases the ionic radii decreases. All of us knows we have two types of ions positively charged ions and negatively charged ions means cations and anions. So as well as oxidation state increases the ionic radii decreases. For the same oxidation state the ionic radii generally decrease with increase in nuclear charge means as well as nuclear charge increases the ionic radii decreases. Here we have the trend of ionic radii of 3D series elements okay. Here we have some general characteristics of transition metals first metallic character everybody knows in D block we have metals and metal shows metallic character transition elements are malleable and ductile metals have metallic cluster. These are good conductors of heat and electricity. Everybody knows what is the meaning of malleable and ductile nature. Characteristic of transition metal is atomic volume and density. They have low atomic volume and high density. All the transition elements have low atomic volume and high density. As we know density is equals to mass by volume. Okay. Melting and boiling points, they are directly related to the strength of metallic bonds which is turn depends on the number of unpaired electrons. Here the graph and showing melting and boiling points of the 3D series, 4D series and 5D series. It rises to maximum and then decreases in a period as we can see in the graph. It increases in a group. Tungsten has the maximum melting point. You have to note down the tungsten has the maximum melting point comes to the ionization energy. Now what do you mean by the term ionization energy? As we have studied in class 11th in periodic properties, ionization energy is the energy which is required, which is required to remove the outermost electron. Means the electron which is present in the outermost shell or bound most loosely to the nucleus Okay, so we have to remove that electron. The energy which is required to remove the particular electron which is most loosely bounded to the nucleus is known as ionization enthalpy. Now we have to study about the trend. The ionization energy of transition elements are higher than those of S block elements but lower than P block elements. Why? Why? Because the D block is placed between S and P block. Okay. So here we have ionization energy values, experimental values of ionization energy of D block elements. This is 3D series, 4D series and 5D series. You can see the trend. In a particular transition series, ionization energy increases gradually as we move from left to right means 
when we move from left to right the ionization energy gradually increases the increase in ionization energy is primarily due to increase in nuclear charge so when the question is so as we know when we from left to right nuclear charge increases why with increase in atomic number and decrease in size so ionization energy increases 5d transition elements possess higher ionization energy than 3d and 4d series 3d series this one 4d series and 5d series so it is saying that 5d transition elements possess higher ionization energies than 3d and 4d transition elements due to increase in size as we know from we move top to bottom the effective nuclear charge increases but the size is the dominating factor that's why ionization energy increases when we move from top to bottom oxidation states all transition elements except first and last number of the series exhibit variable oxidation states means this is the last element and this one is the first element except these two elements of every series all the elements have variable oxidation states the maximum oxidation state shown by the first series increases from scandium to manganese and then decreases the common oxidation state of first series is plus 3 the compounds of transition elements in lower states plus 2 and plus 3 are mostly ionic and of higher oxidation states are covalent kai bari aapse question mein kya pucha jata hai ki 3d series mein aapke paas sabse zyada oxidation states kaun show karta hai so you have to learn that mn shows the highest number of oxidation states ya fir mn shows the most variable states in 3d series next transition metals with fluorine and oxygen exhibit higher oxidation state why due to higher electronegative nature of fluorine and oxygen the next term is standard electrode potential electrode potential is the electric potential developed on a metal electrode when it is in equilibrium with the solution of its ions taking electrons from the electrode electrode potential humne kahan padni hai electrochemistry mein there is irregular variation in electrode potential due to irregular variation in ionization enthalpy sublimation energy and energy of hydration the e node value decreases from left to right across the series you have to learn the trend of all the periodic properties for your board exams here given some electrode potential standard electron potential some transition metals now mn ni and zn have higher values than expected because of their half filled or completely filled 3d orbitals everybody knows mn ni and zn have completely and half filled d orbitals that's why the value of a standard electrode potential is higher than others in case of mn2 positive and zn2 positive are the highest negative enthalpy of hydration ni2 positive means the graph is varying here and the reason of the variation is hydration enthalpy next property is reducing properties the electrode potentials of the first transition series metals are quite high hence they are expected to be oxidized easily to their ions everybody knows that the substance which help other to get oxidized and in return get reduced are known as oxidizing agents and those substances which so those in reduction are known as reducing agents hence they should be good reducing agents all the d block elements or you can say transition elements are behave as a good reducing agents because they can make positive ions easily 
means donate electrons easily and helps others in get reducing but they are not because of their high heat of vaporization high ionization potential and low heat of hydration since the oxidation potential of copper is negative it has a low tendency to change to cu2 positive ions and does not displace h positive ions from acid solutions next we have magnetic properties the substance which contain some species with unpaired electrons in their orbital behave as paramagnetic substance unpaired electrons means we have d orbital okay if we have only one electron so we have one unpaired electron if we have two electrons we have two unpaired electrons three in the case of d3 we have three unpaired electrons in the case of four we have four unpaired electrons in d5 configuration we have five unpaired electrons so from d1 to d9 we have paramagnetic substances but when we have d10 configuration we have no unpaired electron so we are not able to say that d10 series ya fir the d10 configuration also has paramagnetic behavior no when all the electrons in d orbital are paired then the substance will be diamagnetic otherwise it will be paramagnetic the transition metal ions generally contain one or more unpaired electrons in them and hence their complex are generally paramagnetic our elements are ferromagnetic due to the unpaired electrons and hence the complexes are generally paramagnetic which are formed from the d block elements here nu means magnetic momentum okay the paramagnetic character increases with increase in number of unpaired electrons as well as number of unpaired electrons increases the paramagnetic behavior of the element increases it is expressed in terms of magnetic movement now here n is the number of unpaired electrons for example sc3 positive here last configuration will be s2d1 we have three positive means it donates three electrons no unpaired electrons so the magnetic momentum will be zero the magnetic moments of the elements of first transition series can be calculated with the help of unpaired electrons spin only nu is equal to under root n n plus 2 bohr magneton this is the formula to calculate the magnetic moment for any element complex formation transition elements have great tendency to form coordination complexes with lewis fixes these groups are called ligands a ligand is normally a neutral molecule or negative ion here given some complex so d block elements are able to form the complex and we have to study some particular complexes which are made from the d block elements